Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so before we get started with your reading, I just want to share with you a fascinating website I was recently introduced to that helps you discover how compatible you are in relationships, how others perceive you, and also explains how to fully understand your natal chart through astrology and numerology. There is a ton of information waiting for you on this site to help you better understand love, your path, and to help you improve your life. I got my charts done and it is amazingly accurate and extremely informative. The website is called trulydivine.com and they are offering a 30% off discount for all of my subscribers. All you have to do is use code ZEN30 at checkout to receive your discount. I will provide the link and code in the description box below. So peace and love and happy learning. Now let's get started with your reading. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Libra Sun Moon Rising. So without further ado, my darlings, let's get into your reading. Okay, guides, guardians, ancestors, angels, ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Libra Sun Moon Rising regarding their love life. What love messages do we have for Libra at this time? Okay, what does Libra need to know regarding their love life? Please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we're starting off with the King of Cups for you, Libra. So not gender specific because it, because it is a general reading. So we have here a water sign person, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this could be somebody that's very sensitive, emotional, somebody in love. Let's see, what else? What other messages do we have for Libra? What does Libra need to know regarding their love life? Okay, we have seven of cups. Okay, so you may be fantasizing about this person. This person may be fantasizing about you. There's a lot going on upstairs here with the Seven of Cups. Let's see. Any other messages? Last Shuffle or Libra? Okay. So that's it from the Tarot. Someone may even be a little confused. Okay. But I'm feeling more it's, it's fantasizing. There's, there's a lot of fantasies about you here. Or you about them. I'm feeling major crush, okay? Major, major crush here. You on them or them on you. I'm getting someone might be shy. And then if you're dealing with a water sign person, like I said, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you might be confused about something with them if you're in a relationship with someone. Okay, last shuffle. Any other messages for Libra? All right. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to take the cards that flipped first. Okay, so there's a lot of trust here in this connection. Gratitude. Flexibility. Okay, so I feel like this person is willing to bend over backwards for you. Courage. These are also qualities that you admire about each other. Patience. And expanded awareness. So for those of you that are feeling confused about something with this person, it, it's going to come out. You're going to figure it out. You're going to find out whatever it is that you need to find out that's confusing you. It will be um, figured out. It will be discussed. You know, it, it's going to come out and everything will be resolved. Um, now, if this person has a crush on you, expanded awareness, you're, you're going to find out. Okay? They're going to get to a point where they're going to stop fantasizing and they're actually going to come towards you. Okay? So, let's see. What other messages do we have for Libra regarding their love life? What love messages do we have for Libra? Please and thank you. Patience. 
patience again. A lot of patience here. I feel like this person is just waiting. Just waiting. They're just waiting. Oh, my God. It's kind of intense, though. Like I, they, they felt this way towards you for a while if it's a secret crush. And they're just waiting for the right time. They're just waiting to get the courage to come forward and tell you how they feel. Okay, ownership. You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. Vision. Ooh, they got their sights set on you. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. They, they, I'm seeing like googly eyes at you that they're just, they'll like, they'll look at you and just stare and be like, huh? What? Were you saying something? Oh, I'm sorry. You're just so gorgeous. I couldn't. I'm mesmerized by you. And humility. You have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same but on different paths. So they may feel like you're out of their league. Okay? In some way. Or you may feel this way towards them. The energy can always be flipped here. Okay? So let's see. Where is this going to go? I want to know what's going on with my Libras. What's going to be the outcome of this? Are they going to finally come forward? I feel intuitively that they will, but let's see. Okay, what what's going to happen here? Please clarify the King of Cups and the Seven of Cups. I'm going to do one more shuffle. There we go. I like that one. Okay, that felt good. Okay, so what's going to come up in the near future? What is this person going to do? Are they going to come forward? Are they going to reach out? Okay. Give us some more details here. Last ah, shuffle. What's going to happen here? Oh, man, you jumped out face down, so you're even keeping me in suspense. Let me just make sure nothing else flips. Thanks for your patience, guys. Guys and gals. Okay, nothing else flips. All right. So the first one that flipped is X. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Okay, so I feel this is, they're going to stop the pattern of just fantasizing and just gazing at you. They're going to stop with the silent treatment of keeping their feelings to themselves. Okay, because we have expanded awareness here. So this actually is letting me know, like I said to you guys before, they're going to come forward. You're going to be aware of this. If you're not aware that you have a, a major crush you know, someone has a major crush on you. Oh, well, you're going to be aware real soon. Okay. And then we have hammer here. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. So they're working on the courage to come forward. Remember I said patience came out twice here. So they've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Like it's really, really hard for this person to come forward and communicate with you how they feel. It could even be just to ask you out. It's very, very difficult for them. So this is why we have here like persistent and working on it. So they're working on it, but they will stop the pattern. They're going to be more persistent in trying and they're going to break that silent treatment. Okay. And then I also want to point out here with these cards, these are all green. Okay. Regardless of what the crystals are, they're all green. This is all the heart chakra. So this person does have a lot of love for you. Like I said here with the King of Cups, that's also not gender specific. Um, that's a lot of love. There's a lot of love here. This person like secretly admires you and may have fallen for you. And that could be why it's so hard for them to come forward because they don't want to be rejected because then the fantasy is over. You know, if they tell you that they care for you and they like you and they want to go out with you and you're like, man, get the fuck out of my face. They're going to be like, oh, ugh, dagger to heart, devastation. I should have kept my fucking mouth shut, you know? All right, let's see. So now I'm introducing a new deck, my music, music oracle deck to the channel. I saw this and I absolutely love it. I'm a big music buff, music background, so had to have it, had to introduce it to my peeps. So let's see how these work. Whatever artists come out, okay, you can connect with them in different ways, okay? If you have a specific person in mind, they may resemble the person, be a fan of this artist, um, 
have like the similar personality, style, look, anything like that, or you just may connect with this musician and love the music and the lyrics. Therefore, a certain song, when you see the card might pop into your mind, that's a message for you. Okay, listen to those lyrics again. Now, if this is somebody that you haven't heard of, and a few of them come out and you're like, I don't know who any of these fucking people are, but one of them you feel kind of drawn to, go look them up. Check out their music. Listen to the lyrics because it's coming out for a reason. It's more messages for you, okay? Okay, so let's see. What messages do we have for Libra at this time? There's one person missing from this deck that it actually pisses me off. That this one musician, this one artist is not in here. And it's Eminem. Big Eminem fan. And it pisses me off when I saw this deck. I was like, why you no have Eminem? What the fuck? How do you leave him out? Like, I don't get it. But whatever. Enough of my ranting. All right. What other musicians do we have here? What other artists are coming through? Glass Shuffle. To my Libras at this time. What are the messages for my Libras? Okay, we actually got quite a few cards. But they do have a lot of good... Good, talented people in here. Okay, so speaking of good and talented people, we got Prince. What? Who don't like Prince? Okay, so we got Prince representing pop music. Jack of Hearts, which is also Page of Cups, which is love, communication, and offering coming through. So that lets us know, yes, this person is finally going to build up the courage to stop the pattern, to break the silent treatment. They're working on it, and they're going to come through, and they're going to offer you... Uh, maybe ask you out on a date or offer some kind of communication here. Then we have for pop as well, Whitney Houston. Wonderful Whitney Houston here. Rest in peace. Okay, and this is resembling the Eight of Cups, okay, which is movement, transition, okay. Then we have another, you know, what the fuck? All three of these people are dead. This sucks. Okay, we got the King of Pop, Michael Jackson, representing... What? The King of Cups. Here we go. Okay, Michael Jackson. Ton of music there. I don't know if I showed it to you long enough. There you go. Sorry about that. Three fantastic artists that have passed, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, wow. You guys got, like, every single one is amazing. Like, these are all heavy hitters here. Okay, then we have uh, Blues, Soul, R&B. We got Ray Charles. Okay, nine of clubs, which is the nine of wands. Okay, and this is just somebody feeling that, you know, they're kind of at their wits ends, but they got to keep trying. So that's per this person being persistent, like we had here, being persistent. So they may have a lot of times that they wanted to reach out and then gave up. And now they're getting to the point where it's like, all right, rip up the band-aid, just do it. All right, and then we have the king of clubs, which is the king of wands. This is uh, blues, soul, R&B again. We got B.B. King. Amazing. Okay, so King of Wands here is a fire sign person, Leo Aries Sagittarius. All right, so you might be dealing with someone that is a Leo Aries or Sagittarius or somebody that's just very uh, fiery, passionate um, personality. And then our last card is pop music again, the lovely Miss Beyonce. Okay, and this is the Queen of Cups. So you got your king and your queen here. So that gives you a nice idea of where this is going. Lots of love here. Okay. All right. So those are your messages, Libra. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Let me know how you like these new music cards. I'm getting a lot of great reviews. I'm going to start using them like constantly in all of my readings. Peace and love, and I will see you in the next reading.